Good morning, students. Today, I will discuss about the nutrition in plants, class seven, chapter one. In class six, you have learned that food is essential for all living organisms, and components of food are called nutrients. Nutrients means which gives nutrition and all those nutritions we acquire from the plants. So first of all, how plants are getting these nutrients in themselves? Now, photosynthesis. First of all, photosynthesis. A food making process in plants. Plants are called autotrophs because they make food themselves. Plants prepare starch with the help of radiant energy from the sun, carbon dioxide, water and the chlorophyll present in the leaves. So it is very important to know the process of photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is very much required for the plants because in plants, in the leaves, there are chlorophyll and those chlorophyll are very helpful to trap radiant energy getting from the sun. Autotrophs means green plants. They are called autotrophs. Auto means self. Auto means self because they are getting these foods with themselves only with the help of radiant energy from the sun, carbon dioxide, water and taking all these things they prepare starch and these type of starch is again converted into fruits. So plants are very helpful in the manner we are getting profits from the plants in the term of fruit, flowers and sometimes medicinal plants also. Students, you know, medicinal plants are very useful. We can say also that trees or plants are categorized in three terms, such as herb, sharp and trees. From herbs, we are getting some medicinal plants. Serves, uh, you can say rose plants like that. Plants are there. So, autotrophs, you know, and here you can see the sun. This is the plant. As for photosynthesis, here is a picture showing that radiant energy leaves are getting radiant energy from the sun. Also, carbon dioxide from the air and water and minerals from the soil. Plants are getting all these things and preparing starch. There are some porous parts in the leaves, these are called stomatas, and from the stomatas, gaseous exchange is done. And oxygen is the end product. When photosynthesis is done, at that time, after that, oxygen is also released. And that oxygen is taken up by the human beings, animals. So there is a correlation between plants and uh, human beings, animals. It's a uh, we can say friendship. There is a good friendship between plants and the animals because the humans and the animals are very much dependent on plants. Now here, heterotrophs, animals and other organisms taking food prepared by the plants are called heterotrophs. Well, students, as you know, humans and animals are directly or indirectly dependent on plants so there is a great need of nutrition to grow our body more healthy so therefore 
students first of all you know what is nutrient nutrient means carbohydrate proteins vitamins fats water and minerals so all these type of things is absorbed by the animals also and uh, getting all these things animals grow more healthy and there is a systematic growth in the animals in the human beings so nutrition is very much helpful as you know sun is the ultimate source of energy whatever the energy we are getting we are getting through the help of sun we are getting sunlight in the morning sunlight we are getting vitamin d vitamin d is also very helpful in the growth of or is strengthening bones so that is why sun is very important source of light and uh, ultimate source of energy other modes of nutrition in plants other mode of nutrition in plants cuscuta cuscuta amarbel amarbel is called parasite sometimes found in berry or any other plants that is host plant so host plant over there there is amarbel and amarbel is a parasitic plant and it takes nutrition from the other plant or the host plant so parasitic plant and host plant there are two plants and where host plant is the plant which provide nutrition to the amur so nutrition in plants i think here about the students you can understand so what is nutrition nutrition means protein fats carbohydrate minerals all these things are absorbed by the human beings or the animals so these things we are getting from the plants so students very much you should know about these plants and animals and there is a correlation between them because they balance the nature in the nature carbon dioxide you know 21% nitrogen 78% carbon dioxide 0.01% so like that we should know that all these are covering in the atmosphere and uh, probably with the figure students you should understand uh, how photosynthesis is done here is carbon dioxide oxygen radiant energy plant is taking and uh, with that water and minerals is also there so according to this figure you can understand in a better way so students there are some questions also if you understand these things you should answer what do you question number 1 what do you mean by nutrition in plants what is photosynthesis then number 3 define autotrophs and heterotrophs number 4 what is the importance of nutrition so these are the questions you should want to find out the answer from your books and uh, you can get these answers from this whatever is given here in this picture you read it silently and try to find out these answers so students i think you have understood about and stood about nutrition in plant so thank you very much stay safe stay in home in this situation of covid 19 so till then thank you students